everybody, all my followers, uh, welcome to another video. So the video today is on a Ford Focus 2008 with uh, the 1.6 TDCI engine. And this car came to me, I've been told, with a DPF issue. Uh, there is a... let me start the engine and show you that. I haven't started the engine today yet, so... It comes up with that immediately, engine light on, and uh, yeah, I've been told there's a DPF issue. So there is a receipt, an invoice here for some uh, additives, some DPF cleaner, whatever they call them. So someone has been trying to uh, get something done on this, uh, but obviously it didn't work. So I have the Maxi Sys plugged in, but it's not turned on yet. We'll turn it on. It's actually is crap. I left it on from yesterday. Wow. Uh, okay, so let's gonna let's gonna scan the car. I haven't scanned this car yet. So I will scan the car. Come on. European. So we'll scan the car and we'll see what's in there. Um, it might be that just needs a regeneration. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see. We'll see why it needs. Okay, guys. And once we scan the car, there is loads of codes, as you can see. Some of them are pending already. Some of them are water confusion here. So let's go to start with the basics. Let's clear these codes and see what comes back. So let's uh, read the codes again. I should have cycled the ignition and I didn't. Okay, so there's two codes that comes back, which is good. So filter restriction, ash, ash accumulation, uh, pending and continuously. Uh, so, Let's start the engine and look at some live data just to confirm our issue. So we still have the engine malfunction, although the engine light is off now. So other faults were causing the engine light. So let's let's just do it once again. See if anything came back now that we have the engine running. No, so we still have only these two codes. Let's gonna look at the live data and see exactly um, what ash accumulation we actually have. So the engine is uh, idling right now, and we have about 1.38 uh, kPa's of pressure. Uh, this is about 13 millibars. It's not too high, but it's on the high side already. And when I press the throttle, the car cuts out at 3,000 RPMs, as you're going to see. It cuts there, it doesn't go any further. And my pressure just goes up. And look at that. 14, 15, 16, 17, and carry on going. I don't want to do any damage, so that is about 180 millibars right now. 18, I pressed something here that I shouldn't. Anyway, so we just paused in there. Anyway, so we'll just carry on going up. Uh, that's about 180 millibars. 180 millibars at 3000 RPMs. That's really high. So we are going to try to force a regen on this car. We might need to put a little bit of fuel. Uh, we'll try to force a regen and um, and see if the car takes it and see what happens really um i'll do a regen while driving i don't like to do regens um static regens it puts a lot of pressure a lot of heat on the engine so i do prefer to do it while driving if we if possible so let's see let's see if it's possible and try to get this done see if we can clear the dpf then okay guys and unfortunately i've just checked and this car has no road tax so i'm not going to drive the car uh, the guy is not answering the phone, so I'm not going to drive it. The road tax expired already, so I'm not going to drive the car. So we'll try a static regen. I don't really like to do statics, 
uh, this time I think that's my only option so for now I need to get this car done so let's gonna go service powertrain service functions powertrain and that's gonna be here somewhere static and dynamic we're gonna have to do a static unfortunately Switch it to zero. Okay, so we had something here. Okay, statics. Switch ignition on. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. So you can read through this. Okay. Okay, yes, yes, start or crank engine, forgive me, start, press, do not press the throttle pedal. Let's allow it the five seconds. Press OK. Switch on the headlamps and heated rear windshield. Okay, so lamps. Windshield ah, and air conditioning. Okay, I got it. So the fan, what they wanted to do is so the fan kicks in. Okay, so it's all done. So it's just so the fan kicks in from the beginning. Okay. So this way the air conditioning. It must be warm. It's not warm yet because it's only at it's not at up to temperature yet. So I'm gonna have to leave it here a little bit. To I, I don't think it's gonna allow me to. Let me see what happens. There we go. It needs 65, 64. I've only started the engine this morning and uh, I start this video, so the engine was not warm yet. Oh. It's getting cold now here. So, okay, so let it go another degree. See if it starts automatically. Sixty-five. Okay. Six hundred seconds, so he's asking me to turn the position to zero. Press OK. What's going on? Okay, let's try this again. Was this because of that uh, temperature problem? Okay. Five seconds. That's all done. <laughs> okay. Something's not right, guys. Uh, it's failing. It's gonna fail again. Put it off. Aborted. Communication failure. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. What's going on with this? Okay guys, and finally I managed to start the procedure, so I'm not touching any pedals. And the revs are just going up by themselves. Uh, the only reason why it was failing, guys, was because of the codes in the ECU, so I had to reset the codes before I started this procedure. As you can see, it went all the way up, or it's going all the way up, to about 4,000 RPMs. And the bar just carry on going slowly. The 
raise a little bit of smoke I'm gonna show you I think I can open the door yeah of course I can so there is a little bit of smoke coming out we're gonna leave it to do it this thing and I will take you through as we go along for now it's just really sit and wait and we are about halfway through and you can definitely smell the burning if you ever done such thing you you know how it feels or if you have a car that uh, when it regens you can feel it outside it's definitely burning the smoke stopped I'm gonna show you There's no more smoke and uh, it looks like he's doing his thing so fingers crossed it's gonna clean the DPF and he's just reducing the RPMs let's see what he's gonna do it's coming down slowly I'm not doing nothing guys as you can see Maxi says he's doing all by himself. So he's still coming down slowly. It's freezing here because obviously the air conditioning is, is turned on and it's absolutely freezing inside the car. Okay. now back to idling pretty much yeah it is the cooling fans are running obviously and uh, let's see what happens next okay and just came to this bar again moved from the other bar to this one without completing the other bar coming back to here test passed so it looks like it didn't took the entire uh, 600 seconds I would say to finish this so let's quick go back now okay so that passed or oh, it's tell me to switch the ignition off I'm gonna leave it another couple minutes just to help cool down the engine a little bit more before I turn the ignition off just uh, restart the engine turn uh, all the lights off all the AC it's gonna go back now to the engine just to see which pressures we have now so 2.38 it's even higher than before so I'm a bit confused now Okay, so don't ask me why that's now even higher. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. But the test passed, so I'm happy with that. And uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do, guys, the, the engine revs absolutely fine now. So as you're going to see, it revs above 3000 RPMs just fine. So, just fine. Uh, let's read the code, see if we have any codes now. I might do have codes from when the regen was taking place, perhaps, don't know. Uh, yeah, regeneration duration. 
so there is a fault here but uh, it might be because of the it might be because of the static regen who knows uh, but for now it looks like it's good um, I'm not I mean let me see what pressures we have at 3000 rpms because this pressure here this one at idling is not too bad so let's press 3000 rpms Let's see where it takes us. Okay, and it looks like it's gonna stop around here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna stop around 15. 16 I would say it's gonna be creeping up slowly so I stopped around there so I'd say it's not gonna go much further so 160 millibars uh, was going to 180 something earlier and was keep going up so uh, I would say maybe this DPF is on his way and it's gonna block again possibly so the only thing I can do now is tell the guy that uh, he might gonna need a new DPF uh, shortly but for now it looks like he's okay guys so yeah that's how you do a regen using the maxi sys uh, surely using other tools is very similar um, I would prefer to go and drive the car and doing a dynamic regeneration unfortunately it was no road tax on this and I had no chance for that uh, I couldn't do it like that, but um, yeah. So I will advise that I might gonna need a new DPF or remove this one to clean. Uh, but uh, for now, it's working. It's revving above the 3,000 RPMs, so it's not in limp mode anymore. There's no engine malfunctions anymore. So that's it, guys, for this video. Really. Uh, hope there's some information here you guys are gonna find useful, something that you might learn, and uh, and for now. Uh, that's it really so Hope you enjoyed the video if you guys do have any questions any comments, please put them below and like always Thanks for watching